Yo! Um, what's poppin' guys, and welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Um, today what I'm going to be showing you how to do, it's gonna be something super, super basic, uh, but something that I think is a necessity for almost every Scratch project, uh, whether that be, you know, a game, an animation, uh, other things, whatever you, you, you manage to come up with on Scratch. Um, because I'm going to be showing you how to make a thumbnail. So, you know, like if it gets onto the explore page, what the people will see before they click on the game, like it'll say the name of your project and then it'll show you obviously the picture preview of the game. You don't want it to just be some random shot. And today I'm going to be teaching you how you can go about making your own, you know, thumbnail. So. Uh, as I'm going through this, I'd like to explain to you the reasons why you'd want to do this. One, you'd, you'd probably want to make one of these <clears throat> just because, uh, you know, it's what makes people click on your games. If you, if you, for example, maybe it's a platform you have, right? And let's say that you, you wanted your game to be played a lot, obviously. That's, that's mainly why people would make a game, right? So, you want your game to be played by everybody, but the problem is, if you have, you know, a thumbnail that's just like a bit of your game, like maybe your thumbnail looks like, I don't know, like maybe this is how your game looks. Maybe like this is just a static shot of your game and this is how your thumbnail looks. Like nobody's gonna wanna click on that. So the importance of adding a thumbnail um, will overall get you more clicks uh, on your game. So I'm just going to quickly call this thumbnail tutorial. I can't even spell tutorial. Tutor tutorial. Tutorial. My goodness. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to give you a little bit of an example. So let's make like a fake up title screen right now. Of like what your title screen would look like. Maybe it's like a uh, thumbnail simulator. I don't know, that's be a pretty garbage game, but you know, whatever, whatever you're into, right? So, like, again, this isn't... Java, get out of here, nerd. Java, get out of here, nerd. Okay. Um, like I said, this is your title screen. I got I'm not actually going to make a button because I'm not making a game. Um, but let's say like, this was your button to play. It was just like, yes. And so yeah, so here is your game. You hit and you hit your yes button or your play button, and then you start playing your game. But you don't want to just so this. You don't want to just like show this as your as like what your game is, because that's kind of boring. So what we're going to do is once you have all your assets, you either want to do this first or last or just somewhere in between, wherever you feel like doing it. Just go ahead and make yourself a new sprite. Call this sprite whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it thumbnail for the sake of being easy, right? And now just set up your thumbnail, however you want people to see your game. Maybe it'd be like, I'm just going to do thumbnail tutorial. But obviously you'd put, well you'd put whatever you want. Yeah. All right. Thumbnail tutorial. Look at that. Look at that. That looks beautiful. There you go. We got a thumbnail tutorial. So now what do you want to do is you want to come to the code for your thumbnail. Go ahead, put in a you know little green flag click. When the green flag is clicked, we're going to have it go to X0 and Y0 so you know it centers itself. And we're going to want to hit show so that you know it shows up. If it ever hides, which you probably should have it hide, but you don't necessarily need to. You want to go ahead and hit your set and change color to ghost and set your ghost effect to 100 so that way when you do this it's invisible you can't see it but it's still there and everything will still work the way it's intended to work um and yeah that's literally it you could put that in whatever order you want it really doesn't matter um but yeah that's uh, the thing about your thumbnail right so when you hit the green flag it'll do that but when you hit the red uh, the stop button right it it stops the game so let me explain what's going on here. So when the game stops, it stops all forms of code, meaning if anything is meaning if anything's ghost effect is set to anything but zero, when you hit the red red button, it'll be set to zero. 
So we're at set ghost effect to 100 when we hit play. So it's it's there. It's showing it's in the middle. It is right there. You just can't see it because it's ghost effect is set to 100. It's transparent. You can't see it. So then you hit the stop button. It stops running the script and therefore sets its ghost effect back to zero, showing just this. So yeah, that's how um, you'd go about making yourself a bit of a thumbnail. And yeah, that's that's really it. That's all you need to do if you'd ever want to make a thumbnail for a game. Just show that it does work. Just like I'd, I'd always hit the stop button before you share it. Did I already share this? I probably did, didn't I? No. Huh, whatever. Either way. <clears throat> thumbnail tutorial. What are some instructions? Who knows? Um, look at this beautiful thumbnail. For an hour and a half for a nice surprise. I can't spell still. Um, I'm just gonna put in my YouTube stuff. YouTube DK Universe HTTPS colon backslash backslash youtube.com slash dk universe because i actually made one of those now a custom url and it's not like a super difficult but hey i finally did it uh but yeah there we go this is a new account by the way like i made this two days and 16 hours ago it looks like yeah cool <laughs> all right yeah um i'm just gonna post a little th th sorry Okay, anyways, yep, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then like it. And if you did not like it, uh, well, like it anyways. Uh, because, you know, I told you so. So, yeah, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Wait, before I say peace, I already said peace. I already messed it up. I will be sharing this on the, DK tutor on the new DK tutorial thing. And I'm also going to be making a studio four tutorials you get you guys can all feel free to post your tutorials on there uh, if you have like a youtube channel where you do scratch tutorials feel free to post your projects there just make sure uh when you post it you put the, you put your youtube in the credits so people can go and watch your video for your tutorial also don't forget to leave stuff in your comments uh sending me the project that you used the the project that you shared that used this tutorial in it and also, please send your links for your games. And I'm going to eventually start a series where I play your Scratch games. Um, I'm, ex I'm expecting to do that on Mondays. That's why nothing came up this Monday. Uh, first of all, Minecraft wasn't doing good. So I'm just like, no, we're not going to do that. Nobody watches it. Why would I post it? Um, that's what I'm going to start doing on Mondays. Uh, I don't think I'll post anything on Mondays until I get enough requests. I think I'll do three games per video. So yeah, definitely post your games down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.